Today we're going to make stuffed salmon with wild crab, a baked potato, and lemon and broccoli. First we're going to get a potato, we're going to chop them, and we're going to put them in a tray. And then we're going to season them real nice so all the flavor can get in there. As you can see here, I cut them in square so like that it's easier to cook and then the season can get in between every single thing. When you come to the season, it's your choice, uh, but you can never go wrong with Creole seasoning and Cajun seasoning. Trust me on that. So I put some, uh, I drizzle a little bit of oil and then I put my Creole seasoning and I'm going to put my Cajun seasoning and then my complete seasoning. All the season already have salt on them, so you don't need to add salt anymore. Uh, and then after that, you just give them a good, good, good old mix. And then you stick it inside of the oven. I never remember to have my gloves next to me. Uh, that was me just going to get the glove. Because I don't like seasoning the food with my bare hand. Because the season get everywhere. So I prefer having gloves on. But the worst thing is putting gloves when your hands are wet. That's not fun. That's for sure. But yeah, as you can see, I'm mixing everything together. Making sure everything is like well coated with the oil and all the seasoning that we just put. So like that when it's cooked, it's nice, it's crispy, and it's just very tasty. Now that's done, we're going to put it inside of the oven at bake 350 degrees for about 45 to an hour. It all depends on you. Here you can see I'm about to make the stuffing for the salmon. In the beginning I was going to do stuffed salmon, but turns out my salmon wasn't that big, so I ended up changing into a roll salmon. So I'm preparing the vegetables that I'm going to put inside of the stuffing. I have some onions and some bell peppers. I'm preparing them so I can wash them. Always wash your vegetables because you don't know how long they've been in the grocery store and how many people touched it. So make sure your vegetables are always washed. Uh, I'm going to cut them in little square, as you can see right there. Make it easier to just chop everything in one go and then after that cut them in little square. And here, I realized I didn't need the whole onion, so I end up using half an onion. If you love onions, go ahead, by all means, put the whole thing. But I didn't need the whole onion, so I end up using half of it. So again, I cut them in a little bit of square, and then I'm going to add it on the bowl. At first I was gonna use shrimp for the stuffing, but while I was shopping at Sims Club and I was looking at this crab and then it was wild cut crab and I'm like, okay, I'll try that. And it turns out it wasn't so bad. So I'm just getting a couple pieces cause it was a lot in the bag and I was gonna shred them in there, but it turns out I'm like, you know what? Let me chop it up instead, uh, make it life easier. So like that, I just chop it up like little square as well and then just add everything in the bowl and then as you can see i use a little bit of cream cheese uh, and my store they had this garlic herb cream cheese um so i decided like why not use something different than the regular philadelphia this is my first time using this brand uh, but the shop cheddar cheese was really good you can use whatever cheese you want that's up to you and then i started mixing with the spoon but that was not working out so i had to go get gloves so i can get my hands dirty uh, and i'm also gonna add a little bit of zest because lemon zest is always good in salmon after that i'm gonna mix everything together and then i decided to put some spinach so if you have frozen spinach that's fine just put it in a little bit of warm water and voila after that we're gonna start our seasoning for the salmon i use mustard and oil and then i have the sticky lime steak seasoning we i bought the other day for stick we we're doing uh, and after that i'm gonna put some creole seasoning in there cajun seasoning complete seasoning uh, i'm going to also put a little bit of lime juice and then i'm gonna chop some garlic and also add it in there and then a little bit of zest and then after that mix everything nicely so everything is all mixed nicely well and then of course a taste test at the end Thank you. 
was mixing it, I realized like I'm gonna add some cayenne seasoning in there. So I went and get a little bit of cayenne because a little kick on the salmon is always a good choice. But if you don't like anything spicy, you don't have to put cayenne seasoning, the other seasoning will be just fine. So I mix everything. Look at that, it's so nice and beautiful. And then, of course, you have to taste it, making sure the salt is okay. And then I got my salmon ready, cut it up. Please wash your salmon. I don't know. I feel like salmon should be washed. Um, so I'm cutting it, getting out of the bag. So I'm going to put it on a nice tray. And so I can rinse it under water, making sure it's it's clean. Because I don't know how long that salmon been sitting inside of that package. So I'm going to wash it up. That's me washing the salmon in both sides, making sure everything is nicely clean. And then after that, just tap it dry to get all the excess water out before you start seasoning and start putting your stuff in as well. I'm about to tap it dry just be gentle with the fish because salmon is very soft like anything can break it so try not to put too much pressure in there so i tap it dry making sure i get as much as excess water as i can out of it and then i'm going to get some gloves so i can start coating the seasoning that we made earlier in there before we start putting the stuffing in there i don't know why i do this to myself i'm always trying to struggle to put gloves in when my hands are wet uh, but that's me putting the nice little seasoning, mix seasoning that we just did, and making sure the that sides get a nice little coat. And after that, start putting your stuffing in there. Try not that not to put too much in there, cause you know you're going to roll it, and then you don't want everything to start falling out or having a hard time trying to roll the salmon. So just trying to make sure you put as much as you can, but have it very flat, and then be gentle when you roll in. That's me rolling it struggling to roll it because the, the salmon was very soft and then i use q-tips to secure it together to make sure that it doesn't fall apart when i put it in the tray and then after that i'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning as well on the outside and i'm gonna turn it and put it on the other side as well but for to make your life easier season both sides before you start putting the seasoning I don't know why I always do that. I always forget to season both sides and then I struggle when it comes to like when it's already stuffed and then ready to go. So to save yourself some headache, just season both sides before you start stuffing it. So it's all done and I'm going to put it inside of the oven. I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes because you know it's well, you want to make sure everything is evenly cooked. Then we're gonna get our broccoli ready. So that's, I have some broccolini. I love broccolini. Broccolini all day over regular broccoli. That's me washing the broccoli, making sure I tap it, making sure there's nothing in between those leaves. Because, again, I don't know how long it's been out there. And I'm going to use a little bit of butter. I'm going to put some complete seasoning. You can never go wrong with complete seasoning. And then after that, I'm going to add lime juice in there. Everything is in there and everything is melted. Start taking the juice and like pour it over the broccoli so like that it can get evenly coated. But try not to overcook your broccoli. A soggy broccoli is not tasty. Um, but that's me mixing everything, stirring it to make sure that it's not overcooked. You want your broccoli to have a nice green color, not that brownish. If it's brown, it's overcooked. Okay. That's me taking the potato out. I boiled it to give it a nice golden color. And then the salmon was also ready. Look at that. It's nice and crispy and just overall gorgeous. I'm going to cut it by little rolls so everyone can get their share. But it was so good. Like so, so good. Look at the cheese, the way the cheese is melting. It was overall an amazing salmon. And I'm going to plate everybody's food. And then this is the end result. And of course, lemon juice at the end. I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, Stay tuned because there's plenty more to come. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like. See you next time.